Mark Sardzi from the Yanma Observatory and Planetarium, where I'm, I'm the head of research. Astronomy is a very visual subject, and I'm very interested to see uh, how we can, you know, best understand our images and visualize the results that we have in a in a comprehensible way, and also in a way that. Uh, allows uh, to tap into the natural ability of the human brain to process data in, in a 3D environment, how this can be combined with artificial intelligence. So I'm Marek Grzesz, I'm a lecturer in the School of Computing at the University of Kent and I'm very excited how AI could help uh, oceanography and, and astronomy because as an AI person I like practical applications of AI and I think the combination of those two disciplines is where we can really make some contributions. Like the very important, important role of AI is to pose questions and to make us think. So here when we are talking about data, so AI algorithms looking into the data, analyzing data, I think that I should emphasize the exploratory uh, role of, of data, of data analysis, where we want to process data and we want to ask interesting questions. And I think this is important both for research and educations. On top of that, obviously, there are some other applications of AI, and obviously you mentioned things like data analysis and uh, decision making. Decision making would be very important here because obviously the AI could tell us something useful, yes, something that we didn't know. Ideally, maybe AI could tell us about some causal relationships that we didn't know that exist. Uh, my name is Merrick Shrokos. I'm a professor of oceanography at the National Oceanography Centre in Southampton. I'm sort of interested in uh, using artificial intelligence for practical purposes. The commonality with astronomy is that we have large data sets, lots of images, trying to understand what they're telling us um, and trying to understand what artificial intelligence methods might best help us to uh, make a, a clear understanding of what we're seeing in the data we're collecting, both from satellites and from now a lot of autonomous systems that we have floating around in the ocean. I think a lot of space exploration is going to be autonomous in the future and we are now using autonomous vehicles uh, in the oceans where I think uh, artificial intelligence type techniques where the autonomous vehicles makes its own decision about what it's doing. I was ready for thinking about sort of explorers going into spaces that we can't usually go. You know that thing that you, you learn about at school where we send robots where we can't go and, and there's a bit of that in this project. You know there's a bit of kind of the technology can take us where we can't go on our own. But actually it turned out that really one of the most interesting questions here is about the data. And the reason why the data becomes so interesting is there's too much of it. We can't store the data, there is too much. And so the AI is helping to make decisions about what data we keep. This image is the combination of Ben and an AI. And Ben told the AI to combine oceanography and astronomy. And this is what it produced. this image it had so many stories in it there's kind of like the fragility of the earth the importance of water for life 
both the importance of water for life, but also the risk of water for life. This is almost like a deluge, isn't it? Sort of kind of coming over and taking, taking the planet. There are kind of messages here about, as I say, both the beauty and the wonder of being the watery planet, the blue planet, but also that risk of working with water. I think that, as I say, beautiful, but kind of full of risk and threat, that way happy, <laughs> full of hope and promise. But isn't it interesting, because it was, we, we put, of course, this on. This wasn't there when the AI produced the picture. So maybe we did. Maybe we humans did just get it the wrong way up, and it's actually the AI telling us all about the happy beach picture. <laughs> I want to know now if we're trusting an AI to make such a critical decision for us, what data do we keep? What do we discard? I mean, what on earth do you do with a challenge like that? <laughs>